Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Clueless, do you want to go real life? You don't even think about other people's real life. You have no idea what he's going through. You have no idea. Nobody does. Nobody cares. It's disgusting. Clueless, do you want to go real life? You don't even think about other people's real life. You have no idea what he's going through. You have no idea. Nobody does. Nobody cares. It's disgusting. The privacy strike that you received earlier yeah. was from none other than Bam Bam. Oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, would it be that lovely recording of her? Rendition? No. Not even that? Just her I photo. Thought... Oh, okay. But see, I, I marked out through her face and everything. Um, so I don't know if she got provoked to strike you because in my history of being here she's never struck you has she ever struck you no no probably put up to it somebody okay does she so, even ever just strike anybody I, I, I think somebody probably did it for her. but yeah, but the section the time stamps were of her photo right. um so i'm gonna leave it i'm not gonna edit it because it is uh marked out and then YouTube has to look at it and decide if we, if you broke the policy. You have okay. to read it very carefully. So we're going to leave that right there like it is. Yeah. And, um, uh, because that was a public, that's a public photo and, you know, we'll just see how that goes. So, no uh, name. Miss, no Miss, name. We know her real name. We didn't, we didn't put it there. Yeah. No, we didn't. I didn't give her a real name. No, I said, I know her real yeah. name, but we I know her real it. name. Yeah, we didn't yeah. say it. I know where she lives, I know her family, I know all their names, I know all that good stuff. But, you know, that's another thing. Evidently, she knows mine, too, because she researched me and sung a song and made a song up about me. And, you know, she threatened me. And, you know, I'm not in a good mood today because I got woke up. First of all, bubbles and pervy fraud. You both know damn well, nobody tells Bam what to do. Nobody would have put Bam up to privacy striking you, but fucking Bam. Now, second of all, why the hell do you two feel the need to blast across one of your live streams about a fucking privacy strike? What does that have to do with anything? Anything. That's not stuff regular normal subscribers they, they don't know and understand that don't have channels are not going to understand all the intricacies and inner workings of how YouTube works and striking privacy strikes, uh, false copyright strikes, right, Alan? You love doing those for the last couple years until recently when you've had bubbles take over, but that seems to have stopped for now. But that's a whole other side issue that is not on the table at this point. That's not what I'm talking about. But why, why would you have to even bring that up on, on your live stream. That has nothing to do with your fake ass entertainment shows that talk about the real life of a poor family that's lost their entire life in the most horrific event that has ever happened to any of them. That has nothing to do with it. So you make it very clear, you call Bam a troll AD, you call her a troll, you threaten to, to sick her with an injunction if her name comes out of your mouth, and then you turn around and basically what I'm getting from this clip that Bubbles has said that she knows where Bam lives. She knows Bam's family. 
She knows all of Bam's family's name and all that good stuff. That to me sounds like a very veiled threat. And I said that to you yesterday. Bam said that to you yesterday. And you didn't have the balls to come up and explain yourself. Now, after you, you say that you know where Bam lives, you know Bam's family, you know Bam's family's name and all that good stuff, I love how you very quickly segued and distracted from your veiled threat comments to then turn it into, well, Bam knows my name. Everybody knows your name, Michelle. Bam made a song about you and threatened you. Well, I don't know anything about that. I have never seen or heard anything like that. Um, so I personally can't speak on that. But let's just hypothetically say that was the case. I'm not buying it for a minute. Uh, bubbles. How about you up some proof maybe? But let's just very hypothetically say that was the case. So then what you're doing, uh, two rights make a wrong. You're a disgrace to women, Bubbles. You stand and protect and defend a creepy, misogynistic, pervy fraud for what? What are you protecting and defending, Bubbles? You're protecting and defending something that doesn't even exist. It is not even a reality. You are a disgrace to women and you need to stop threatening women now. And by the way, Bubbles and Pervy Fraud, where's everybody's books that they've paid for? Where's all those signed autographed books that you said were lost and you've had to send out, I don't know, is it two or three times now? Where are the books, Alan? Where are they? Where's the documentary, Bubbles? We're going on seven months later and you have nothing to show for all of that money that your subscribers donated. Where's the signed autographed hardcovers that they donated to? Where's this documentary that you promised? The Hollywood style documentary with real actors. Your entire platform over three plus years has been built on nothing but lies, deliberate misinformation, and the most vulgar, repulsive conspiracy theories that 99% of the world couldn't even fathom making up. You have taken, Alan, you have taken every single everyday occurrence within that case and you have tried to spin regular everyday occurrences and tried to spin them into your conspiracy theory narratives to continue your money train running to get as much money as you can. Well, I know you won't acknowledge it and you've not said a word about it. You're both well aware in about a month, you guys are done when you're, when the online laws come into effect. All of this chaos and havoc and pain that you've instilled on a grieving family for three plus years, exploiting the murders for your monetary gain so you can go gambling. Party till I die with my chin.